F S B M M. Fuck skill based matchmaking. This is a hashtag that has been going around a couple days ago thanks to chain feeds. This came about because the community found out that chain feeds was reverse boosting. That has brought up a lot of questions and concerns whether reverse boosting or going against the game systems is okay. Now usually I don't make videos like this but I figured that this is a huge part of the Call of Duty community right now and it's something that I feel like I should put my personal opinion on. For the people that don't know, skill-based matchmaking is in short a system where Call of Duty is able to match you of people of equal skill level. Now a lot of people believe that this is some newer system but in all honesty this has been around for quite some time. Skill-based matchmaking was used all the way in Black Ops 2. It's been around for a while. The difference between then and now is that skill-based matchmaking has changed a lot. Not only have they made the system a lot more complex and there's a lot more parts, it takes your movements, your accuracy, your overall KD, it takes every single component of your combat record and matches it with people that are fairly equal to that. On top of that, crazy enough, they make it where you are basically forced to lose every few games. Some people have shown where they have it where they win one game, lose the next game, win one game, lose the next game. And although that some people think this is a coincidence, leaks suggest this was actually purposeful. Now, all that begs the question, is skill-based matchmaking, is cheating the system and going against skill-based matchmaking or aka reverse boosting, which is lowering your stats to go against players of lesser skill. Is that okay? As a long, long time Call of Duty fan, Call of Duty player, I believe personally that reverse boosting is okay. Now, before we get any further, th I personally believe that there is a difference between lowering your stats enough that you can have fun and just lowering your stats to the point that there is no competition whatsoever. Activision has actually set up a protected bracket for the lowest tier players, which usually is younger kids or that people that literally just don't play. They're set into a bracket of people that are just so low of skill level that they want only them facing each other and no chance of people of higher skill getting in that bracket. Now, if you are reverse boosting to get to that point, I believe that is wrong. Reverse boosting is okay if it is for the reason that you still want to have fun, but at the same time not ruining it for those lower skilled players. Now, I actually made a reverse boosted account a few days ago to test this all out myself. For me, I kept this KD for this account at roughly a 0.5, which means that for every kill this account got, I gave it about two deaths. Now, my KD for my main account is looking about a 1.5, so I would say this is a fairly big difference. But the thing with my account is that when I want to play, the point 0.5 is not to the point for the majority of the games that you're just facing people that have no idea what they're doing. Point 0.5 is right there where you're still able to have fun, but still having a challenge. Now bringing it back to talking about the skill based matchmaking, reverse boosting, this is different for every single person. Not every single person is going to agree with me, but for the people that don't agree with me. I want y'all to keep an open mind here. Something that I keep pride in myself is that I'm willing to listen to alternate alternatives to different situations. In doing that, you're kind of able to grasp what other people are talking about, what they mean, why it's important in general for them, not even just talking about skill-based matchmaking, but life in general. I understand the standpoints of not cheating the system because the system was designed in this way to protect those players from better players and this helps with the retention of 
the average player and keeping them longer, I understand. But coming from a player such as myself or Chain Feeds or any of these top tier players, many Carnage members do this, many Doom members do this, many snipers, pros, reverse boosting has just always been a thing. Skill based matchmaking gets to the point that it's like a CDL match every single game where you're just you're constantly facing against people, at least for me, that all they do is play this game. You're getting jump shotted, you're getting drop shotted every single time. You make one wrong move, you're dead. Now, although that this is fun here and there, doing this every single game, every single day, it just gets tiring. There is no going on insane streaks just because players are that good. I also think a lot of this can be fixed if they had just a pubs match with no skill-based matchmaking and then a ranked play playlist. I, I don't know why that hasn't been a thing. I feel like if we're going to be put against people of our skill level having to try hard every single game that we should be seeing some kind of reward system some kind of ranked system there should be a separate playlist with skill-based matchmaking in my opinion liked ranked bo2 killed that they did a great job i ended up actually playing ranked more than i did pubs because i knew what i was getting myself into and if i ever felt drowned out i could go to pubs and that's just not something that we can do anymore which really sucks Again, I don't know why they haven't added a ranked, but that's just my opinion. To wrap this all up, because I don't want this video to be too, too long. Again, in my opinion, I believe that skill-based matchmaking is okay, and I'm sure in the future, y'all will be seeing some of my content on my reverse boosted account. Pretty much any account that isn't Distello or I Distello, it's Distello. I'm not going to try and hide it. I enjoy the game better on my reverse boosted account. And I also believe it's important to open up to your fans and let them know what's happening. Feel free, ask me if any gameplay I put out is reverse boosted, and I'll let y'all know. My reverse boosted account right now is I cost and carry. I'm not going to be joining session on that gamer tag. So if y'all ever see that in any single one of my gameplays, like I uploaded a choke of a double nuclear in yesterday's video that was on that account if you see that name anywhere that is my reverse boosted account i feel like it's very important to be open with this kind of thing and that's exactly what i'm going to be no reason to lie no reason to hide it i understand a lot of y'all are not going to agree with me and that's fine that's y'all's opinion but i am more than happy to hear everyone's opinions in the comment section I'm not one to fight with anybody. I just honestly want to listen to hear what y'all think about this. Skill-based matchmaking is also not just in Call of Duty. It's in almost every single top tier game at the moment. You see it in every single Battle Royale game, Fortnite, Apex, Warzone has it. Pretty much every single game, which is crazy. But clearly there are stats behind it that make it worth it for the company to deal with the hate and just continue with this on again let me know what y'all think i will gladly hear your y'all's feedback and maybe someone can change my mind anyways thank you guys for watching as always i love you guys i appreciate you guys and i will see y'all in the next one